Hi guys, it's Brooklyn. I'm back from my channel. So today's video is going to be my top 5 all time favourite perfumes that I'm loving right now and throughout my whole um, adulthood pretty much. So let's get started. So I'm going to start, should I start from the first one to the second? I don't know. Um, but wait, I'm going to this one. Right, I'll do the best one, which is my absolute favourite. All these are beautiful perfumes. I absolutely love them. So my absolute favourite, which has been my favourite for eight and a half years. I have loved this perfume since I was 21 years old. It is the uh, one and only, sorry this glare through my head in. It's the one and only Angel by Karen Mugler, the regular Angel perfume. I'll probably try to do a close up from here, but I'm sorry for that lighting, it's really, really annoying. I might even try to close the blind slightly, if that makes any, di any difference. Okay, so that's a bit better. Um, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's more blue in real life because it's lighting to do my absolute bopping. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, so yes, I have loved this perfume since I was 21 years old. Love it. It's a proper strong in your face perfume. It does have sweet notes, like a sweet um, dessert type smell to it, but also like that aftershave smell. I'm really bad at explaining notes, so just excuse me but it does have that vanilla that bergamot and all to it and it's all there's all different notes like thrown into this perfume all under one but i'm just explaining what i really like about it so i'll just spray it on myself and i have several bottles of that perfume as well lying around um so definitely when you first spray it smells like a, like a really kind of feminine like a slightly feminized aftershave it's really, really nice but as it wears down, it smells like a sweet but still punchy perfume that has an aftershave on the phone too as well. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, you need about four squirts in total on of this perfume under your body. I do, like, you can't just go get away from one or two, but I need four for like, to have a bit of a like, stronger smell to myself. <laughs> nice smell. So I do um, three across my chest. And then do one on the wrist and then just rub it in, <laughs> pretty much. And this perfume, I went through several bottles of this. I have a few around my house and I also have a dupe, which I'll mention later on in the video, but it's just so nice. Like, I've never found a perfume that has topped Angel by Ty Mugler. And his perfumes, I've loved several of them. I've tried Alien in the past, I've loved that. Um, I've tried the Angel Moods, I've tried like different ones. I do have the Alien um, Fusion one which is quite nice, I love that one too. But yeah, this one is the best favourite one ever, I absolutely love it. So yeah. So, second one, they're not really much older except for the first. Well, what did I say? I don't know. Well, it's like the next two are kind of tied and the last two are too. Um, next one is this. Angel Nova, <laughs> after my wee Frenchie daughter Nova, and then the rest of this perfume, pretty much. It's like a nice raspberry pink bottle, I absolutely love it. And instead of the um, regular Angel, it doesn't have a stand, this one does, so that's what it looks like. Similar design, this one kind of sits up, like that, that one doesn't, <laughs> so yeah. Um, this one is definitely a really, that's one I have on today, I actually wore out in town, I'll spray some. This one definitely is a proper raspberry smell to it, it's a proper fruity, sweet, girly smell, I absolutely love it, it's so, so feminine. It's one of them ones, it's more summery, but I wear it all year round, I don't care. And yeah, I'm kind of running out of it, because I've been wearing it on top this summer, this has been my summer perfume. Hands down, this is what I've been wearing and rocking all summer. Now that we got a tiny bit left, and actually, sad, I actually am. But this one is refillable. The good thing about the time regular perfumes is you can go to a shop that does do the refillable perfumes, like the perfume shop stock refills of this, so you can get them refilled at one of their fountains, and it's a lot cheaper than buying the bottle and all again, so it's brilliant. It's proper sustainable too because you're not throwing out glass bottles and getting new ones it's better for the environment too just to go and get it refilled that's what i do so yeah or try to do 
so it's quite good for that. Um, what's I going to say? So this one's beautiful. I got it in September 2020, so nearly two years ago, and I've been loving it ever since. I absolutely love this perfume. I do have We Travel in my handbag too. The wee, I got it in a wee um, set. I did do a review on this about two years ago. The set, if you haven't seen that video, it will be on my channel somewhere anyway. I do use Travel one in my handbag. So it's quite good. And um, what else did I give you? I think we gave you like a cream of some sort. I don't know where that is, but maybe Tyson in. But yeah, um, brilliant. I absolutely love this perfume. It's lovely. Um, next one, which is tied to the Angel Nova, is Angel Aquasaur. Now, I'm so sorry, this one is a limited edition perfume. I'm sorry if you can't get it. But if you can get your hands on it, you see it on like some shop or on a discount store, get it now. It's beautiful. This is my in angel. It is kind of an angel. It is. <laughs> this is my wedding perfume. My perfume I wore my wedding day to my husband. Now I was originally going to wear an original angel perfume for the wedding. I wanted to, but my um, parents got me this for um, a Christmas present. Well, wedding present. Got me for a wedding present, and I was like, yeah, it's a sign to get this perfume and wear it on wedding day. So. So it's similar design, the same set design as a original angel, but it has some kind of corals, purples for it. It's beautiful. The design of this bottle is absolutely stunning. I love it. The smell of this definitely has a sweet smell to it. It's similar to the original angel, but it's more sweet. It's like a proper sweet kind of, it has a bit of a cherry to it, like proper sweet, like summery, coconutty, it's beautiful, with angel added into it, it's like the mix, like a cherry coconut, like proper mango-y summer perfume, then they put angel to it, like to mix it all together and create this. I'm not sure the notes on this, you can look them up, but this one is beautiful and just reminds me of my wedding day. Just bring me back to my wedding day, it's so nice. <laughs> so yeah. Um this is a 50ml bottle, the other two I have are like 25ml if you can see the difference in them. That one's a bigger bottle, which is quite good, so it's gonna last me. Um I haven't so I haven't been wearing this quite as regularly because I wanna save it. So I'm sad I wanna save it because it's my wedding day perfume and I wanna show my kids what I wore my wedding day, even though it'll probably be I see the smell because it'll go bad after a while but um I am using it like on a special occasion but I am trying to save it I've still got like the majority of the bottle left you can see there but it is beautiful and I hope it, the comeback of it time Rick will bring this perfume back and bring it back permanently now please <laughs> please if you want this to bring it per back permanently I need it back I need it back <laughs> And bring it in a refillable form too. Thank you. <laughs> Here's me from my demands away, but hey ho. Without further ado, I've got my last two perfumes, so I'll do this one first. This one is the Machino or Moschino, whatever way you pronounce it. It's the bubblegum perfume. Now this does look like a wee girl's perfume, like a 12 year old or 13 year old's perfume. I know it's it smells like one a wee girl would wear at that age, and I'm like a 30 year old woman, but I don't care, I love it. It's like a proper, like, sweet, bubblegummy perfume I'll spray into the lid because I don't want to spray any more myself. <laughs> My husband Connor would be like, you went to the perfume shop. You're from the perfume shop now, like, you think I went to the shop from back, but I didn't. It's proper bubblegummy, fruity, like, sweet. Something you'd get in, like, a candy shop, it smells like a proper bubblegum fruity smell. I adore it. I absolutely love it. It's definitely more summer perfume but I do wear it all year round. I don't really care. Um, I bought it last summer and I've been using it on and off since then. I mainly kept it for like summer time but I've used it in the old time in winter too. As you can see there, I think it's like a 25ml bottle I got or 30 well. But there it is. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love how cute the uh, packaging is with the wee teddy bear head and all and the pink I just love it. It's sad, but 
like the Freddy or Rona I'm loving this bar from this record for like teenagers but anyone can wear it, I don't really care. If I was six years old I'd still buy this bottle and just wear it. Wear this perfume and just kind of crap. But hey ho, it's lovely. Last one is this SN's dupe. It's basically the dupe of the Olympia perfume. I haven't actually bought or owned the Olympia perfume but it smells the exact same. SN's is basically like a clone house for perfumes. I do have, like the dupe of the angel I have is from SN's too and I love that one. I got this from Christmas about a year and a half ago and I got the angel one by SN's about two years ago for my 28th birthday. So it's a proper sweet fruity smell to it. Like it does smell quite um, similar to bubblegum but not as bubblegum, it's more kind of a fruity floral smell, like a summer smell, it's beautiful. It's hard to really explain it, but just it's like one of them ones last and it just smells so kind of tropical. It's so nice, I absolutely love it. If I had seen Olympia on offer somewhere, I would definitely get the um, Olympia. But I'm happy enough using the essence strip of it, it's just so nice. Um, I am actually halfway through it because I've loved it so much. I mainly did wear it last year more often than this year, but I have wore it busted out a few times this year. But this time last year I was wearing this perfume like non stop. <laughs> I loved it so much and I still do. It's one of my all time favourites as it's in this video. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.